Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. I am so excited to be sharing a brand new thrift haul with you today. It's been so long since I have been in the craft room. I actually spent some time yesterday cleaning and trying to declutter a little bit with this space, but mostly like just trying to make it functional for now. Um, and so I really did a lot of like moving stuff around and just I really wanted to be able to start filming in here again. So I spent some time working on that and I actually filmed part of the process in a vlog that I will be sharing on my Thrifted Living Vlogs channel. So I have that channel linked below. So if you'd like to check out that channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already, um, just definitely go ahead and follow that link and it'll take you to my vlog channel. But in that video, I shared a bit of the process of doing some organizing and cleaning in here. And um, yeah, as many of you know, um, I'm struggling with severe obsessive compulsive disorder. And in that video, I definitely was struggling a bit. If you're interested in seeing that video, definitely go ahead and um, follow the link and go to, over to my vlog channel, which is called Thrifted Living Vlogs. But for today, I'm going to share with you a thrift haul of some of the stuff that I've been finding at the thrift store. I've been thrifting quite a bit recently. I'm I'm really starting to find joy in thrifting again. If you're new here, you might not know like how much I am sharing about my life with obsessive compulsive disorder right now. It's something that is like a focus of mine right now with what I'm sharing because it's a big part of my life. I've been recently starting to like feel the way about thrifting that I used to feel. Um, and that was, that's was that been really, really nice. And so I've been really enjoying thrifting. I've been able to go with some of my friends. I've been able to go thrifting with my mom and with my husband, Sean. So um, yeah, I have been sharing some thrift with me videos and I have a whole playlist of thrifting videos, thrift hauls and thrift, thrift with me videos. I also have a separate playlist of sisters and thrifters videos, which is when I go thrifting with my sister Keely. Um, so I have those linked above in case you'd like to check those out as well. And if you're new here and would like to see more thrifting videos, would like to see more DIY videos, um, and just would like to, you know, follow me on my journey um, of life, then definitely subscribe to this channel and like this video because that really lets me know what kind of videos you guys like to see. Um, and yeah. Anyway, let's jump right into this thrift haul. Um, I'm going to start with this piece of clothing that I cannot wait to wear for Valentine's Day. So this shirt is the brand, I think it says INC, International, and I'm not sure what the rest of it says because there's a, a staple on it. Look at how cute this shirt is. Oh my goodness. So it's this really fun black sweatshirt. It's a very like lightweight material, but it definitely feels really warm. And then it has these super cute hearts and they have like little beads around them. And then the inside of the heart, it's actually like a velvety kind of material. I just think this is so pretty. Like I really love like holiday themed things. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I also love like, like holiday vests and holiday sweaters. I just love like, I love being able to show the holiday that I'm like like share the holiday in what I'm wearing if that makes sense um so I really love this I think it's super cute and it was six dollars and half off and I need to wash this do you guys have like a pile in your house of like thrift store stuff that you're like oh I'm gonna wash that and then it just kind of like sits there for a while that's where this thing is going right now um yes so what do I want to share with you next I think I'll save some of this clothing for next time because I'm still trying to figure out the best way to film and the next few things I wanted to share with you for clothing it's like um or a couple of the things they're like dresses and coats and things like that and I don't know why I have such a hard time figuring out a way to sit in this crafting space um I don't know if it's because because the camera is so close to me I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out so let's jump into what's the next thing I want to share I'll share this so Sean actually saw this at the thrift store. It is a Better Homes and Gardens towel holder, and that's what it looks like. I've been really wanting to get one of these to have in the kitchen and in the bathroom, so I thought it was great that I was able to find one. I might try to find another one or might purchase one, but the Better Homes and Gardens is Walmart, I think. It was $3 and half off, so I thought that was a great deal. Um, and it's funny. It's so funny when I find things at the thrift store that, like, I've been wanting to buy and I just can't find them anywhere and then I find them at the thrift store so I was really excited for that. I found this super cute flip calendar. How much fun is this? 
I love this style. I actually did a um, like a Dollar Tree DIY where I made something like this like years ago. I think it was in a back to school video, but I made it with like poster board and um, some of the Dollar Tree like stickers, like the, the letter and number stickers. But I really love this style. And I was thinking about maybe bringing it to my classroom, but I also really like just having it at home. So I'm really excited to have this. I think it's simple and pretty. It was from Big Lots originally, and it was $15, and then $8 at the thrift store, but then it was half off on the day that I bought it. So I definitely had to get this, um, and I just, I really like the style of it. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to get these, but I'm, I really wanted them. Um, I have a set of, let me just show you what it is. I'm like describing it to you before I actually show you what it is. So I found a bag of these really cool scissors. They're called Craft edgers i think is what it's called so these are really good for crafting and for like scrapbooking and even using them in your planner to like have like decorative edges um when you're cutting i actually have some of those right behind me on the crafting desk but i wanted to get some of these to use in my classroom and i know there are so many different styles here really fun memory that i have from the holidays when i was younger is that my family my mom and my dad bought me a set of these crafting scissors um, when I was younger and it was just like the best Christmas ever. They actually got me like like a small um, like Rubbermaid container, like one of those like plastic containers and they filled it with like construction paper and glue sticks and colored pencils and like scissors like this and it was just the best because I love, um, ever since I was little I've always loved being like creative and doing different art projects. Let me just show you a little closer what these look like. And these were $9, no, $10. These were $10 and half off. So I think that's a great price. And I can definitely use them here in the craft room or in my classroom. So I was really excited to find these. I'm realizing that I have so much stuff I want to show you guys and it might take a couple videos, but that's okay. I found these absolutely beautiful plate and cup sets at the thrift store. So I have seen these at the thrift store for quite some time and I've always wanted to buy them, but I haven't seen like a complete set like I just found. And um, I just always thought they were so pretty. So this is what the tray looks like. It is just like a simple tray. I really love the handles that it has. Let's see if I can show you guys. I think the little handles are so pretty. It comes with this matching glass that sits right there. I really love this little handle. How cute is that? I think it's so pretty and it just sits right here. I want to have like a tea party or something and use these. I want to um, maybe have like a brunch and have like a little sandwich and some cookies or something. I posted on Instagram asking people what they thought I should do with them and I got some great suggestions. Somebody suggested having like a dessert party and then having desserts on this. Somebody suggested a tea party. I just think those are such fun ideas. So in the comments below, let me know what you guys would do with these. Um, I just can't wait to use them. I think they're so sweet. I think they were $6 a set originally but then they ended up being $3 a piece and I got several sets. So I can't wait to use these in the future, maybe at a brunch or a tea party. I also found this really cool four piece ravioli maker set. It's listed as being $20 and the day that I was at the thrift store, it was actually only 10. So this is what it looks like. I'm still trying to figure everything out, but it has these different like molds on the top. I think, I'm not sure, sorry, it's so noisy. I'm not sure, but I think this bottom goes with all of the different molds and then you like use pasta and meat or cheese or whatever you're putting in the ravioli and then you like put it on top. I thought that could be a really fun project for me to try to do in the kitchen because you know that I've been struggling with preparing food because of my severe OCD so I'm really excited to get to try that and get to use that. Um, and if you've ever used one before, leave any comments and suggestions below. I would definitely appreciate your help. You guys know I love vintage toys. I love anything from my childhood and I love games. When I saw this game at the thrift store, I was literally mid-sentence talking to my friend Sam and then I was like, oh my gosh, I need to, to buy that. So let me know if you guys have seen this before. I'm sure you have. Crocodile Dentist. <gasps> I am so excited to have this. I remember this game from when I was a kid. Now this one is a little different though. The one that I remember, it was a crocodile and it had all of its teeth and they were like built into its mouth and you had to like push down the teeth. This one it's different. The teeth are actually separate and you have to put the teeth in 
And then you have a little pair of pliers that you use to pull the teeth out. Mine was completely different. This one is from 1993, I think. Oh no, 1990. So it's really cute. It was $5 and half off. Let me know in the comments below if you had this game, what are some memories you have of Crocodile Dentist? Um, I was just so excited to find it. And that's it for today's thrift haul. Thank you so much for watching. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite find was from this haul. Also, if you enjoy this kind of video, please make sure that you check out the playlist that I have. I have playlists about garage sailing, thrifting, DIY, Dollar Tree. Um, so definitely make sure you check out the playlist on my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your continued encouragement and support. I truly appreciate all of you and I'm just so thankful that you are part of my YouTube family. So until I see you in my next video, thank you so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye!